Here's the departure message for the down postal. Right, thank you. Okay. Crew control, Houston Telegraph. 157 postal, left at 8.30. Class 6 engine, 340 tons, 12 vehicles. 8.30 p.m. Weekdays and Sundays. The down postal special leaves Euston for Glasgow, Edinburgh and Aberdeen. The postal special is a fast express, but it carries no passengers. It is manned by 40 post office workers. Half a million letters are sorted, picked up or dropped at full speed during the night, or carried on for the morning delivery in Scotland. Attention beat. Attention beat received. Can you take postal special? Can take postal special. Can you take postal special? Line clear. Be the postal mate. Well, I'm time and all, ain't you, Joe? Four million miles every year. Five hundred million letters every year. That's you, Harry. You'll have to shunt the local. I've got the postal on. Righto. How long do we wait here? Oh, about a couple of minutes, mate, while the postal special goes by. Here you are, here she comes. Tonight, mate. Ah. Trains from Lincolnshire and Derbyshire connect at Tamworth. Trains from Warwickshire and Leicestershire connect at Rugby. Oh. At 34 points between London and Glasgow, postmen wait with local mails to deliver them to the postal special. The mails have been roughly sorted by districts. The postmen set up a net to catch the mails dropped by the train. They strap up the mail bags in strong leather pouches. 
There's something in these bags, all right, Bert? Must be old Fred's Cooper knife. The pouches are fixed to a standard by a spring clip. is swung out from the train as it approaches the standard. The impact releases the spring clip and the pouches are swept into the train. Those letters were posted in Bletchley half an hour ago. Crew the main junction for the Midlands. Trains from Bristol, Cardiff, Manchester, Stoke, Liverpool and Birmingham bring a thousand bags of mails for the north between 10.57 and 11.39 p.m. running late. Will you hold the postal? I will hold her four minutes. Four minutes? Aye. Right. The control room. Expresses are reported at regular intervals. Yes? Down platform here. The post office wants to hold the postal four minutes extra. Can we do it? Just a moment. How's the down postal running? She's on time, due any minute. That'll be all right, four minutes. The scheduled stop for the postal special is 13 minutes. 500 bags must be unloaded, a thousand loaded, engines changed, and some of the English crew exchanged for Scots. Come on, give it up for this Scott. Charlie, what about the Alex now? Come on. There's no water for the jocks to see. The postal's in. Thank you, Art. Where's my bag? Good night, boys. Good night, Good night, guys. Cheerio. Have a good holiday. Good night. Good night. Fancy being beaten by a chester. Yeah. Morning, Jock. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you enjoy your tea. I know what that means. No water. There you are. What's that body you've got, Eric?
Hey, open that door, Hester. I wonder what he thinks we're doing, playing for Shapney. Back up for the Irish. Tons of new letters to sort. The postal special picks up and distributes the mails of industrial England. The mines of Wigan. The steel works of Warrington. machine shops of Preston. Turn it up. There are seven sorting vans on the postal special. Each sorter has 48 pigeonholes, each representing a town. The packets are sorted separately. As the train progresses, the names scribbled in chalk over the pigeonholes have to be changed. When a pigeonhole is filled, the letters are tied in a bundle. The bundles are put into the label bags hanging behind the sorters. When the bag is full, it is tied, labelled and sealed, ready for dispatch by apparatus or at the next stop. Dale Garrett. What? Dale Garrett. Not on this division. Well, sh I think. Have a look at the diet. Well, what's the trouble? Badly addressed. Dale Garrett. Well, thanks. Dump them in anyhow nowadays. Ah, oh, well, makes a nice change for you. Place is over. Covering the bags, see? Yeah. Then you be a cross traps up. It's all tight. Oh, it doesn't matter about them being tight. The main strap will tighten them up when she goes out. Mm -hmm. Then you put the other flaps over, seeing that the main strap's in the centre of the pouch. Then you secure the pouch up. And it's all ready for this fetch. Go on, Paul, for you. Got that all right, Evans? Oh, I've got that, okay. Right, Evans. Seems easy enough. 
soon get on with it. Warrington, Whitney's Liverpool and Huddersfield. About time. Where have you been? Give us a chance. We had seven parties here. Night mail crossing the border, bringing the check and the postal order, letters for the rich, letters for the poor, the shop at the corner of the girl next door, pulling up B took a steady climb, the gradients against her but she's on time. grass and moorland boulder, shoveling white steam over her shoulder, snorting noisily as she passes, silent miles of wind-bent grasses, birds turn their heads as she approaches, stare from the bushes at her blank-faced coaches, sheepdogs cannot turn her course, they slumber on with paws across, in the farm she passes, no one wakes but a jug in a bedroom gently shakes. The climb is done. Down towards Glasgow, she descends. Towards the steam tugs, yelping down the blade of cranes. Towards the fields of apparatus, the furnaces, set on the dark plain like gigantic chessmen. All Scotland waits for her. 
in the dark glens, beside the pale green sea lochs, men long for news. Letters of thanks, letters from banks, letters of joy from the girl and the boy, receipted bills and invitations to expect new stock or to visit relations and applications for situations and timid lovers, declarations and gossip, gossip from all the nations, new circumstantial news, financial letters with holiday snaps to enlarge in letters with faces scrawled in the margin, letters from uncles, cousins and aunts, letters to Scotland from the south of France, letters of condolence to highlands and lowlands, notes from overseas to Hebrides, written on paper of every hue, the pink, the barnet, the white and the blue, the chatty, the catty, the boring, adoring, the cold and official, all the hearts are pouring, clever, stupid, short and long, the typed and the printed and spelt all wrong. Thousands are still asleep, dreaming of terrifying monsters, or a friendly tea beside the band at Cranston's or Crawford's. Asleep in working Glasgow, asleep in well-set Edinburgh, asleep in granite Aberdeen. They continue their dreams. But shall wake soon and long for letters, and none will hear the postman's knock without a quickening of the heart, for who can bear to feel himself forgotten? Yeah.